when I was a kid, I used to spend a lot of time on Saturday mornings watching the TV shows, uh, Hoplo and Cassidy, Gene Autry, Sky King, uh, Roy Rogers. A lot of the cowboys rode in the Old West were, uh, were, were, were anything but white. They were black, they were Mexican, they were uh, First Nations, they were Jewish, you know. Um, but this was a history that you didn't you didn't see when you watched John Wayne movies as a kid. <laughs> it's, yeah, uh, it's hell when you want to grow up to be Roy Rogers and you find yourself turning into Gabby Hayes. <laughs> <laughs> This, is, uh, this, this song has been recorded by a couple of different people. I actually get some money every once in a while. Um, uh, I came across a story about this feller uh, named Bill Pickett, who invented bulldogging, what they call steer wrestling these days. But the reason they call it bulldogging is the way he used to do it. See, he'd come out. He was a black cowboy work for the 101 Ranch and, Ro and Ranch and Rodeo down in Oklahoma, and he'd come out of the chute on his horse Spradley doing 45 miles an hour chasing after that big steer, and it wasn't a, it wasn't a calf, it was a, it was a full-size steer, and he'd take a flying leap through the air, he'd grab the steer by the horns, and he'd dig his heels into the arena sand, and he'd pull that steer to a stop, he'd twist the horns and get the head up in the air, and he would grab the steer's upper lip with his teeth and let go of the, the, the horns with his hands and throw the steer over just using his teeth. That's why they called it bulldogging. It's a very tasty job. It's not as hard as it sounds. I'm told that there is a nerve that runs through a steer's upper lip that when pressure is applied renders him virtually paralyzed. However, I haven't had the guts to try it out myself. <laughs> Old Bill Pickett's gone away over the Great Divide To the place where all the preachers say both Satan and sinner abide If the chick is brand like I think the will ends a running hoss They'll give to Bill some good wild steer still he gets his fill And a great big crowd to watch him ride Old Bill Pickett's long time gone let me hear to sing this song. Oh, Bill Pickett, it's a long time gone. Let me hear to sing this song. Bill Pickett was a mighty black man and he wrote for the 101. Way down yonder on the Cherokee sands, playing with round when the West was won. He'd jump a steer from a running hoss and he'd work him, roll him down with a mighty toss. And he worked from anybody, he had no balls, he was the last of the great cow hands. Well, old Bill Pickett's a long time gone. Let me hear you sing this song. Old Bill Pickett's a long time gone. Left me here to sing this song. It was way down south in Mexico. He took a great big dare to try and hold the fighting bull to see how he would fare. He grabbed old Toro by the horns, grabbed the bull's nose in his jaws. The crowd never seen such a thing before. For an hour and a half they cheered. <laughs> well, I have to confess that last verse is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> See, what happened was the 101 Ranch was down doing an exhibition in Mexico City. And one night in one of the cantinas, the cowboys got into an argument with the picadors and the toreadors and the matadors and the swinging doors and whatever else they had. <laughs> as to which was the finer and nobler, nobler sport, bullfighting or uh, rodeoing. And the only way they could think to settle this argument was a bet that picket could stay in the ring with a fighting bull for 15 minutes and hang on to him for five. Well, they, the, the date was set, the arena was rented, the place was packed, they let loose El Toro. Pickett came riding out on his horse and after much maneuvering and his horse getting gored, he managed to grab onto that steer's horns. It was, he didn't have to hold on with his teeth, he just had to hang on and hang for, you know, for six minutes. 
after seven or eight minutes, somebody realized that uh, nobody was about to call time. And if, even if somebody did, the bull wasn't about to listen. So the, uh, the cowboys rode in and they roped the, the bull and held him down so Pick could get, get out of there with his ass in one piece. The spectators were incensed over this insult to that noble fighting animal and they started throwing things like bottles and bricks and bullets and knives and what have you and they had to call out the federales to escort them out of town so they, so they would survive. But if I had tried to write the, write the tale the way it really happened, it would have added another 11 verses to the song and the damn thing's long enough as it is. With great Will Rogers and Wild Tom Mix, he rode for the rodeo. For all who paid their 50 cents, they gave a great big show. For all who paid to come and see Bill Rasmus with his teeth that we've never seen such a mighty feat cause left us long ago old Bill Pickett's long time gone left me here to sing this song old Bill Pickett's long time gone left me here to sing this song it was way down on the Miller Ranch in the year of 32 Bill Pickett Roped a sorrel stud to see what he could do. That sorrel stomped and jumped and bucked in a trombill's body in the dust. Had 73 Bill was out of luck. It took 11 days to die. There's nothing they could do. Well, old Bill Pickett's long time gone. Left me here to sing this song. Old Bill Pickett's long time gone. Left me here to sing this song. So they laid him down in a six by three beneath the land he knew. And they left a cross for the world to see, said of his kind, we've seen few. That night for Bill, they drank some wine. Old Zach Miller, he wrote these lines and left them there for me to find, to put to music and sing to you. Old Bill Pickett's long time gone. Left me here to sing this song. It's long time gone Left me here to sing this song <laughs> Old Bill Pickett's gone away Over the great divide To the place where all the preachers say Both Satan and sinner abide if the chick is brand like I think the will It's a running horse they'll give to Bill Some good wild steer still gets his fill And a great big crowd to watch him ride Old Bill Pickett's long time gone 